Hey, how's it going? I wanted to show how to tie a version of a steelhead muddler. So first off, we got a size six Partridge Patriot single. It's the CS16U1B. There we've got, uh, going with the ultra thread black 140. Just want to start your thread three quarters of the way back. Up top, almost over top of the point. Tie it in. Body we're going to do tinsel. It's a, a Mirage large oval mylar. Put that on the bottom. Right behind that, we're going to do some oval silver small for a rib. It's going to protect that mylar, whatever it gets in there as a body. Tail, we need some bleached elk. Nice clump there. Clean it out. Throw it in our stacker. And run it so it's about past the hook point. As we're doing this, we're keeping all this hair up on the top of the, I'm gonna keep it all up on the top. We're actually gonna do it in really loose wraps so it doesn't flare out. Take care of any big loose ones. So now we've got that run up. Throw a little half hitch on there so it doesn't go anywhere. Keep the tension. We're gonna take that mylar. And where is it? And we're just gonna advance it all the way up to the front. Almost overlaying lat wraps. Now it'll start to catch up all that mess that we made on the way up. Tie it in. Cut it off. Then we've got our silver. Make sure it's out of that hair. So the one thing we're gonna do with the silver though is we're gonna take it behind the hair on the first wrap. So it actually is gonna keep that hair standing up. Then we're gonna come right back through on the overlay, like right where the that tinsel wraps were overlaying. We're just gonna bring it right into there. Cover that tinsel, so it's a nice reinforcement it off. So we're almost ready to the return eye. How far you come forward. See so your return eye is right there. Got that space to work on to build our head. Lay a nice thread base. Something you're gonna see different here is I'm gonna actually use compared on hair. Um, it's a lot softer than your typical hair that you'd probably use on a mudler for skating. But with this hair, you get some really nice points on it, some really nice tips, and it just looks, looks nice and it's nice and uniform. Um, a little bit of floating will keep it up, or you can fish it wet as well. So I don't need this to be exact in stacking the tips, so I'm actually looking for a length that's just about the length of the body right there. I'm going to take it, hold it up top, I'm going to do one, two, and on the third come down a little bit harder, on the four, really start to cinch that down looking to keep all that hair up on the top pull it back and wrap in the front make a nice base i'm going to do some more another nice big clump of that compared on here then i'm going to spin on here for the head Take the pull that back. Great to stack that right where that is. Go one, two, 
And on the third time around, I'm gonna, as I'm going, let it go. Just spin that right into place. Now, this is where you can get, people have some different preferences. You can push, what did you push back to make your head? This is really how it determines how thick of a head you want, how loose of a head. If you want a nice, thick, full head, something like that, you're gonna wanna actually spin two clumps. If you want a little bit thinner one that's gonna kind of breathe a little bit more, you can actually just go with this one clump right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this one clump, you're gonna get all this hair and try to pull it back behind so you can see the front of the hook. You're gonna bring your thread back out, pull it and start making wraps, making a little dam, thread dam in front to keep your hair back. You can see I lost one of the, lost one of the pieces right there, it kind of came out, it's fine. Just pull it back, clean it up again, start wrapping right back up against it. For this, I'm gonna make a nice, good sized thread head because I am gonna riffle hitch this at some point. So I got that head made. And I'm just gonna go ahead and whip finish. So got that whip finish all the way out in front. Let's get that one little hair out of there. There we go. Trim. Now it's time to trim the body. First thing I always do, flip it over on the bottom. Cut yourself a nice flat pad that's right parallel with the hook shank. Just take all that out to expose that underbody. So, cut all that right out on the bottom. And then we'll go do some trimming. Super easy, nice and sparse, you can stay up top and go down. So if you like this video, please click the like button down below, subscribe to my channel, uh, check out some of my other videos, uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Thanks.